Hey everyone, Mayor Paul Haken here. I wanna to talk to you about our city budget. It's that time of year when we talk about budget. I know this sounds like it's gonna be very boring. It's actually very exciting. Stick with me for the next uh, two minutes because I wanna talk about our 2024 proposed budget which is about $790 million, our 2024 budget. Where does that come from? Where will it go? Uh, let's kind of start from the beginning. Our, our annual city budget, it outlines the city's projected revenues as well as the planned expenses for the upcoming year. And our budget invests in people, essential services, major projects, uh, and equipment that's needed to, to carry out those projects. Each year, the budget reflects our community needs and priorities and goals and uh, a lot of those right now are centered around tremendous historic record-breaking growth that we're experiencing. Uh, I propose the budget each year during a special public meeting to the Sioux Falls City Council. Then what happens after that's proposed is our departments present their team's individual proposed budgets to the City Council at what we call informational meetings. And the City Council, they ultimately approve what is included in that annual budget. Uh, the proposed 2024 budget takes a really balanced approach to the strategic growth that we're experiencing with a few focus areas that I just want to highlight. Uh, as more families are choosing to make Sioux Falls their home, balancing growth with the needs and wants of our community keeps Sioux Falls one of the best places to live. I think we've done a good job of that for many decades. That will continue this year. A total of $10.8 million is going to be dedicated to housing in 2024. This money will continue to be used to reinvest and leverage funding in various ways while working with community partners to address residents' housing needs across the spectrum. As our community keeps growing, crime rates have remained relatively steady within Sioux Falls, which is a good thing. And part of the reason for that is because we continue to consciously prioritize the investments that we're making in public safety. The 2024 proposed budget that I brought forward activates those strategic investments. The $55 million public safety campus is gonna open this year. This facility will provide the best in class training for our first responders. Uh, we're also budgeting to add 24 new full-time employees to the city this year, including seven police officer positions to help the department target a total of 300 officers by 2025. Now I can't make a budget address without talking about potholes. And so our infrastructure plans remain focused on the future, our roads uh, and infrastructure for this community to make sure your commutes are good, safe and smooth. So why almost 60% of the operating and capital expenses in the 2024 budget are dedicated to necessary infrastructure investments, like more than 700 blocks of street reconstruction and the continued construction of South Veterans Parkway. We will also continue investments to improve the community's great quality of life. This includes updating pools at Frank Olson, Keene Park, and McKinnon Park. Our community loves our aquatics. Uh, growing up, me and my kids, we went to Laurel Oaks a lot, and we always enjoyed the great community pools that Sioux Falls has to offer. So, in closing, the 2024 budget reflects months of collaboration as one team working across all departments and it responsibly moves Sioux Falls forward, keeps the positive momentum we have in our community. The city council will not vote on the proposed budget until September, once all those hearings are done. So you can get more details and you can see the entire budget at SiouxFalls.org budget. That's what we got for now. Take care and hope to see you soon.